coming up on the next episode. Uh, good Monday evening to you all YouTube. I'm here with you on the uh, video to uh, explain a couple things. Now this is going to be an abbreviated uh, version of this and I plan to do a more detailed uh, go into it more details for the Thursday 3D printer uh, video that we have planned for next. Uh, so basically I'm going to show you what I came up with. I, I wanted to uh, design a Bore a, a box for my uh, perf boards. I have a bunch of uh, the uh, five by seven centimeter perf boards. Now anybody that knows those, they knows they come up with with like uh, four holes in the corners, and I wanted something that would allow it to fit and uh, be you know at the same time have enough room to where everything would fit into it. And so I I came up with this bottom. Uh, let's see, not that one. This one here. Yeah. So let's take a look at it real quick. Now that's the, uh, I started off with a 5x7 uh, mill or 50 by 70 millimeter, which is 5 by 7 centimeters, uh, base. And then I added these corners to it. Now that should, from what I measured on the perf boards themselves, the uh, center of the, uh, from the center here to the center there, is three millimeters on both so that should put you right at this point here and so I made my uh, cylinders six millimeters which obviously uh, when they're placed at the very edge which you can do here in Tinkercad uh, gives you this 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 is in the exact center and once I did that uh, I, I was able to put that print this uh, template out and see if it worked and it did work so basically I went from there and designed the rest of it uh, from there I put, uh, I may decide to make them uh, uh, 60 by 70, or 60 by 80, I'm sorry, add 10 to it on both ends, or both sides, and so that's what I did, and uh, so let me see if I can find the right one here, uh, 20 millimeters, I think that's it, yeah, that's got to pay, uh, yeah, let's look at this one here. Uh, I added basically sides to it, and you can see there's the. Uh, all I did was take the uh, centerpiece that I just designed and showed you, and I used the uh, rulers or the what do you call it to center that inside this uh, larger enclosure, and that gave me the exact center of the where it would be reside at. As you can see, there's a little space there, you know, around the side. I came up with these after the first one I designed, uh, and I'll show you that later. Uh, was just a hole and I came up with this idea because I'd already had wires on the on the circuit board and this aids and you know if you do already have wires on it or if you want to put the wires on first you just add you know can use these slits here to make the wires come through the hole and come out where you want it to do and that, that way it just works out just great and so that's what I came up with now this is 20 millimeters uh, see if you can see yeah there's a uh, 80 millimeters, 80 millimeters by 60 millimeters, and our height is 20 millimeters. So that is, uh, you know, what I came up with. Now the uh, top, it took me a couple, couple designs to get to the top uh, for it because I, at first I tried to make this a little bit s smaller to uh, compensate maybe for plastic uh, shrinkage, things like that. But I discovered that actually, if you make it the exact correct size to fit inside this box then it will fit with an interference type fit to where it uh, worked out really good and I'll show you that again later uh, let's see if we can get to the uh, top here that I made for it uh, let's see top 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 I went through a lot of different uh, designs to get this but I was really pleased with it once I got it and I think it turned out really nice uh, I don't know what I do with the top oh here it is right here perf board I think this is it here let's see take this if 
I think that's it right there. Yeah, that's it right there. Uh, so basically, like I said, this fits. This is made to fit exactly right into the uh, opening on the uh, box bottom, and uh, these uh, sides. Before you add this this uh, this add additional part that goes down into the box is only one mil one and a half millimeters thick, as is the top uh, between the bottom and there is one and a half millimeters thick. So that came out to be the the good solution for that. I started out with two but found out very quickly that one and a half worked just as well and of course it uses much more or less filament so that's what I ended up doing is the uh, all, all the walls the tops and bottoms are, are one and a half millimeters thick and again that, this fit this box here will fit all of the designs I have made and I have three box bottoms made one is 20 millimeters one's 15 millimeters and one's 10 millimeters uh, all those are the same and uh, so I can use this top with any of them. It works just the same on any of them. So I think it's a pretty good uh, system here in case I, I need something bigger or smaller. I can do it that way. And uh, that's what I'm going to plan on using for my thing. So that's going to cover that. And let us go into the uh, workshop and now and check out what I've done in there and show you that. And I've got parts in the mail today. We'll go over that as well. So stay tuned for that. Hi, good evening, YouTube. Here with you on a uh, Monday evening. It is 7.29 now in the p.m. What you see before you is the culmination of my efforts on the Tinkercad. Now, this is a perf board box uh, that I built, which uh, basically houses uh, the uh, perp board that uh, I showed you on Tinkercad earlier and I did go through several design iterations uh, here's an earlier design here uh, obviously this one uh, got drilled out because of the hole was not big enough on the center but uh, like I said there's it what it looks like and uh, it does work as far as uh, holding the board in and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, basically, it uh, lids a little bit loose. Uh, it doesn't just fall off, but with a little weight in there, it probably would. It doesn't fit as good, near as good as this one does. This one's very, very steady. In fact, it takes a little effort to get it apart, which is exactly what you want. And there's our uh, tester inside. Uh, I don't have it wired at the moment. Uh, I took the wires off to get it in there because I didn't have these slots in that first board as you can see. I just had holes on the ends and I, I learned my lesson from that. Just basically put a couple of slots in to add the, uh, go ahead and you can solder the wires on here and go ahead and run them through there and they would still work just fine that way. So, And like I said that's the uh, way it looks real now. Of course I still have to add the uh, circuitry for the LED which will not be on here but in the switch uh, so once that, that I get that done and uh, I'll be able to this will be ready to install but like I said I just this one this top now this is the one I settled on as you can see the uh, lip is a little bit longer the uh, as I said it mentioned in the uh, Tinkercad part of this uh, the uh, the lip there that, that fits down into the uh, uh, box itself is exactly uh, the difference between the outer walls of here uh, and uh, in other words there's no there's no room for error in other words uh, I didn't take away any extra plastic or add anything or anything like that this is just exactly how it would fit uh, if you uh, you know was measuring it and cutting something out it just fits in there like that like I say it does snap right on and that's really nice. I kind of, kind of like the way that works. And I think probably I'll add a couple of holes in the bottom of these to mount it to the uh, board. Uh, that's probably the best way to do it. These here screws are basically uh, computer... I used to call them small computer screws. Uh, There's basically two bit different sizes for motherboards. And this is the one, the smaller one, that you can see, I think, pretty good there that the uh, the tip of that is actually smaller uh, which you know helps a lot when you're trying to cut some threads into plastic it fits in there a little bit snug and then you just run it on down it cuts its own threads and it works really good that way 
and that's what I've got in there and uh, those will all hold hold very well and like I say it uh, it will work out perfectly no problem at all that's what I wanted uh, I have this set up now on my uh, in in my uh, computer this is a 20 I believe 20 millimeter uh, box bottom and I think there's five millimeters on that I believe is the way that works for a 25 uh, millimeter size now I, I I purposely made it deep on that one because you can see the uh, top of that transformer comes kind of close uh, but with the additional of that then it doesn't really matter too much but uh, I also have a 15 millimeter version and a 10 millimeter version of the same bottom now the tops are all the same they just you know one top fits all as they say and so I've got that for any future projects and these will fit a standard uh, 5 by 7 uh, centimeter perp board and uh, that's what I have to, now I do have to cut the uh, uh, ream out the uh, the holes in these perp boards are really really small and uh, to make it work better I just taken I think it's a 3.2 uh, millimeter drill I think is what I use I think it says 3.2 3 I can't really see it but uh, I don't know if you can see it or not there it is I think it's 3.2 maybe 3.5 I can't remember I can't probably closer probably 3.5 would be more I would think more uh, you know useful uh, whatever it is it's it's three point something I'm pretty sure so but anyway that made the uh, the holes just right and uh, that's what I've been using so anyway that's that part of it uh, I did get some things in the uh, mail today and let me go over those real quick uh, these came in the mail these are uh, switches single pole single throw switches and you can see there's uh, I think 10 of them in there. The only problem is there is no mounting hardware. The uh, nuts and washers are missing. And I have contacted the seller and told him that uh, they are missing. And uh, see what happens with that. And I do have other, uh, from other switches, the uh, double pole, double throw switches just that are just like this. Same setup, but I can use the hardware from it for now. Uh, so basically that's what I'll probably do but these are the ones I want to use for the MFP and those are here so that's good also I got a cable I don't know if I told you guys this or not but I ordered this cable for my Canon camcorder this fits into the camcorder uh, charge port and this is just a USB obviously and it does charge up the battery because I had my Canon camcorder hooked up to it uh, most of the afternoon after the mail ran came in here just now and uh, it was charged up it, it was no longer flashing so uh, so it does work and uh, so that's good and uh, I'm hoping to use this in the car for you know uh, for those blogs when I uh, or um, blogs uh, flapping videos when I uh, uh, use the uh, two camera system to, to one camera filming the road or whatever I'm looking at and uh, the other is the ZE one or whatever it is but uh, uh, th that should keep it going as long as the uh, memory lasts and it's it's got a fairly large memory card in it so that should work out well so that's good so uh, just got a text let me get that real quick all right that covers that uh, like I said this is pretty much everything I've got going on here um, uh, again I'm, I'm uh, this one actually can be used because it does fit the uh, the board and uh, if I want to use it I can use it for something else it's it's you know for something that doesn't require something that uh, now I could use this top with it I think that would allow me to to use it let me check that and make sure yeah see that top that top will fit that too I think well, I don't know I take that back this won't because this is a uh, I changed the uh, dimensions of the uh, thickness of the walls and top and bottom to one and a half millimeters from two this is a two millimeter uh, uh, sides and ends and things like that so that won't fit but anyway like I said this fits good enough it, it will work so 
I can use that one if I need to use it for something else. And uh, like I said, I do have the uh, design. Anytime I need one, I can print one up. I've got the uh, the little uh, uh, low voltage power supply board is a is a perp board like that. Plus the uh, one for the power supply, the DC power supply will be a, uh, a perp board like that. So I've got opportunities to use three in here. So I probably will do so and get that done. So. All right, I'm going to get off here. You guys have a great evening. Thank you so, so much for watching, and we will see ya. Yeah.